going to be trying different TikTok recipes to bake stuff. And hopefully this goes well. <coughs> It could also go very badly because I'm not, I don't know how to bake or cook or really do any basic human. Uh, I can't even talk. Since I'm stuck at home anyway, I might as well do something productive and eat. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm editing this right now, obviously. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm like really annoying. Um, so, like, yeah, I, I apologize for all the weird noises that I made. <sighs> the first thing that I'm gonna attempt to bake are cookies. Okay, I uh, can't put the music because it's copyrighted, so I'll be the music. Renegade, 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 Oh, oh, oh. What the heck? Um, who, who touched the baking soda? Are you telling me I don't have baking soda? Ah! <laughs> Wait, is stop baking soda? Oh my god! My mom threw away the baking soda. So I googled, and apparently you can still make cookies if you don't have baking soda or baking powder, which I don't have either of them. So I really hope that um, this will work. I really should have checked my ingredients before I started this. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to continue. I mean, wait, what does baking soda even do? Oh, it makes the dough rise. So this could still work, actually. My cookies are just gonna be like really flat. I'm not judging. It's literally been 20 minutes and all I have done is put the flour in the bowl. Whisk, whisk. Uh, okay. Oops, whatever. Oh. Okay. Three quarters of a cup. I hope I did this right. Ah. No! Oh. Ah. So apparently you're supposed to put the sugar in a separate bowl and I didn't realize that. They're literally two different bowls. That's metal, glass, glass, metal. This is misinformation. He never said to switch a bowl. He just magically switched a bowl. So now I guess I have to scoop it out and put it in a separate bowl. This is going great. <laughs> so I have to try to scoop all the sugar out. Oh my, I can't even. Okay. I'm just gonna cross my fingers and just pray that this goes well. Too late to take the sugar out of this bowl, so... No, oh, butter here, I'm gonna melt it. <laughs> I can't even bake properly. I almost dropped the butter. How am I supposed to measure half a cup of... No, thank you. <sighs> How am I supposed to get this in into- Why does this look so gross? I am struggling. <laughs> okay, um, well, this looks like half a cup to me, so... Egg. This is not how it's supposed to look. And then in one egg yolk? How am I supposed to get the yolk? <sighs> That's too much thinking. Two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm too lazy to measure it, so... That's like two and a half teaspoons. Teaspoons, two and a half teaspoons. Okay, that seems about right. Oh, it's half? What is happening? What, what does it look like? I can already tell this is not gonna go well, cause why do my eggs look like this? Seriously?
that's enough working out for today. I'm going to be so proud of myself if this turns out right. Why does this not look right? I don't think this worked. I mean, this is what it looks like. Nobody told me this was going to be a workout. Okay, so it's looking a bit closer to what it's supposed to look like. <sighs> okay. All right. Mm. Okay. So it's looking definitely a lot more closer resemblance. It's looking a lot closer to what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Apparently now I'm supposed to add in chocolate chips because this is supposed to be a chocolate chip cookie. Why did I just sound so stupid saying that? So that's what it looks like currently. I'm gonna add in the chocolate chips and then keep mixing it and see what happens. Where are the chocolate chips? <laughs> Why in the hell do we have nothing? I thought I had chocolate chips in the house, but I don't. So I'm just gonna have to pop all of this chocolate up into small pieces so that I can toss it into the bowl. This chocolate has also been in my, um, my cupboards for like three years. <laughs> if I get food poisoning and die tomorrow, well, you'll know the reason why. I'm gonna put this in the fridge now. Okay. All right, while that is chilling in the fridge, I'm gonna make my next, um, my next baking, my next food. I don't know. Next thing, mug cake. Okay, right off the bat, I already see some things that concern me. One, I don't have baking powder or cocoa, coca, co whatever that cocoa powder, I don't have that. So this could be a problem. But I mean, this probably takes like five minutes to make, so we'll find out. Mm. Whoa. One, two, three. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Maybe I'll put a bit more. Since I don't have cocoa powder, I need something to compensate. I'm very skepti skepti skeptical, 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 skeptical about this. If this works, I'll be like really impressed. Microwave for one minute and forty-five seconds. Crossing my fingers. I hope this works. It doesn't look that bad, actually. No. No. Oh. So basically, the sprinkles fell everywhere. Why does this gotta happen to me? Anyway. So, my mug looks like that. I'm gonna try it. I would give this... 7 out of 10, but it's not bad. I mean, considering I didn't put cocoa powder or anything else, basically, um, tastes like a cake. Kind of tastes raw, but other than that, I mean, it's not bad. Mm. So yeah, 7 out of 10. Now it's time to make the cookies. Um, that's what they look like. This kind 
too big. I hope the blender can blend big chocks of chocolate. Chocolate. Um, that should be right. Um, probably would just get it taste like milk chocolate. So, don't have high expectations, but we'll see. Mom, how do you use this? Why does this smell weird? Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm scared. Okay, there's weird chocolate chunks. So it needs to be mashed more. Doesn't taste bad. Pretty good. I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cookies are done, so I'm gonna go go check on the cookies. <laughs> so that's what they look like. <laughs> and now I'm gonna try. Where did I go wrong? Everywhere. I would give these cookies a 6 out of 10 because they taste more like scones than cookies. Um, the good thing is that they are edible. Actually, on second thought, it's not that bad. Maybe I'll give these a 7. Overall, the mug cake, the frap, and the cookie, I would give everything an overall rating of 7 out of 10. But at the same time, I didn't have the full ingredients for any of these, so that's probably why. I'm gonna go eat these now. Okay, bye.